On today's episode, Jamie builds a deer stand on a roof and Eric shaves his arm with a chisel. Ooh. Mm hmm. Today's video is sponsored by the Dauber Stopper, which is a awesome new product that will protect your home's AC drain lines as well as give them a nice clean finished look. When building custom homes, it's all about the details. We're going to put a link to this product in the description. They're only about 20 bucks a piece and you can install it yourself. So most people don't know that your AC drain line is like a super highway for bugs to get in your house. This will stop that from happening. It can be mounted in several different fashions and it's made of high quality ABS material. I don't know, Tiff, Hilla? No, I can't hear you. I don't know, there's something wrong with this one. All right, how to sharpen a chisel with a grinder. I'm gonna pull out my trusty old grinder. Uh, well, let's fix that first. I'm gonna give you my dull, crappy chisel. You can please sharpen this thing. I will. If you're in construction, you are never far away from a dull chisel, okay? I'm sure of that. This chisel is pretty cheap. It's really not a good quality, uh, but we can make it sharp and useful for a while. And I'll show you how you do it here on the job. The challenge here is to sharpen this without the steel getting too hot. If you overheat it, it will turn blue or black looking and it will take the temper out of the metal. Okay, and then it will be too soft and it will get dull very fast the next time. So try to keep it cool. Keep your cool. All right, so it's going to be a little bit of grinding, then a little bit of cooling in water, then a little grinding, then a little cooling, then grinding the cooling. <laughs> then grinding again. I'll show you. And this blade is a just a metal cutoff disc. It works great for fine sharpening, not only of chisels, but other things like drill bits too. I sharpen drill bits all the time with this. So handy. All right, we're gonna start by flat grinding the back until it's shiny. And then we'll use this part of the disc on the edge to do the bevel. If you're serious about keeping stuff sharp like I am, then you would keep this honing solution and a rough stone and a fine stone under the seat of your truck so you're never far from it. All right, a nice splash of this honing solution will keep the stone from getting clogged up with the metal material that you're removing. I like to be generous with the honing solution. Again, starting with the back. And then finding the bevel by tilting the chisel until you find it is flat against the stone. And do your best to hold it flat while you rub it back and forth there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a little more material just off the edge. It's called a micro bevel, but we're just going to do it so I don't have to grind this whole surface off by hand. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you. You find the angle. Okay, I'm pressing down. There's the angle. I'm going to raise up. Okay. <laughs> I see that. There we go. Oh, I see it. Now there's a burr. Yeah, I see the micro bevel and the burr. There's a burr. So I go a little hook. Okay. That's where the fine stone comes in here. A little splash, a little dash. There went the burr. And there it is. And that's my chisel. Thanks. You betcha. Oh, there it is. That's what I like. Hey, we deer hunting are working out here. Let's just say you're a desperate carpenter, okay? Sometimes you don't have a grinder and you don't have a honing stone, but you might have one of these. Sanding paper. Let's try that. Do the back. Do the front. Ooh. 
That actually looks pretty good. That might be sharper. Let me, let me rub on that a little bit more here. And this is not flat at all, but I would say do it on something flat. Oh my goodness. A little bit of that, a little bit of that, looking sharp to me. <laughs> I'd take that any day. Not bad. All right, here you go. Thanks. I'm going to have to be careful with that now. Yep. No more nails. Now, very quickly, we did a little sharpening at the shop before we came out here today with Jamie's Tormek Professional Sharpening Machine. Uh, and got a chisel like mirror finish sharp. I'm gonna try to shave my arm with it because I thought that'd be fun. So here we go. Woo! Mm hmm. Be careful now. Just peeling it back. I don't wanna have to get out the first aid kit. <laughs> People are gonna wonder what happened to me. So there you go. Bare, bare skin. Luckily, my watch will cover most of that. Mm, not all of it. <laughs> <laughs> These are like $2 chisels, by the way. You could get way better results if you started with something decent, like, say, a $5 chisel or, say, a $100 chisel. These are cheapos. Uh, just goes to show if you sharpen it right, uh, anything can be okay. Dang! <laughs>